Hello everybody and welcome to the Ambrosian campaign. Balaton is under threat, but so is Haldenur. Teathrite has a lot of troops, but so does Captain Oldur. So as you see, there are many threats and many rhymes in these lands. And perhaps no threat is more pressing than the one that Captain Abrazan poses to our dear Norivnivion. I'll never become good friends with that particular name, but I will make very close acquaintances with Abradan and his fellows. Yes, something like that. Let's go! There's tea in my cap, and we have some pointy pointy pikes, and we will point them at the enemy. And yikes, they sit all the way over there. Uh, can't they just walk a bit toward us and uh, make this quicker? Uh, that's my only motivation. It's not tactical. I mean, we can go to their place wherever wherever they want to go. We can go, but it, it just helps smooth it along a bit if they want to meet us halfway. But no, no, we have to trudge all the way there because apparently that's just Harad's way of wasting our time. Oh dear. Well, good thing I got that tea, eh? Have you got a beverage of your own? And are you happy with it? I hope so. Ah, and here they come. And so we charge in and smack those buggers. And we give them another charge and we give them another charge. No, we don't. We attack them again. And flank them, maybe? Nah, come on, we have them! Yes, indeed, we do. Oh, and the general is there. He's been poked to death. Uh, he's also stabbing a little bit. Doing a bit of stabbing of his own. And there he goes. He, he got a bit more of a stabbing than he could really take. And so, uh, death was the only option. Charge! Okay, that didn't really do too much. Silver lining, didn't do too much to hurt our own troops either. That did a little bit though, but it's okay. The enemy and there they go. Very well done, General Nicknax. Vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. And the pikeman took the largest slice of the pie. Pieman, pikeman. I believe there's a joke in there somewhere. I just uh, somehow I keep failing to find it. But we can get our lovely. Uh, General Novichok back into Goebel Milond, and that's nice. And Artheon. Should you just proceed to penetrate the defences of Amunathel like a lovely pike would? Yes. And there sits Falazon with his Hashari shadows. Hmm. We know what those guys have, it's not good. And Ammonithel now has pretty much no chance of resisting our eventual attack. Next turn, Lord Imbrahil will journey forth with his cavaliers and in so doing. He will catch up with uh, Captain Dwelin. And Dwelin will get reinforcements here from Teathride. Hmm, we could retrain some of those lovely, lovely pikemen. 
Pike the Pike the Pikeman. Orders. Yes, we should. We should retrain those pikemen. And we should retrain for armor as well. So that these two might come along next turn. I feel good about that. Alright then. Ooh, more pikemen here and go build tall for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm down. I'm game. I'm up for it all. And we won't take Alan L out of Dol Amroth because he would just carry the plague with him and he would probably carry it to his grave. Which is something we do not intend. By Meldir. Um, do you need to go somewhere to perhaps uh, retrain the, some yes, naval sir. forces? Might be a good idea. We can go no further. And then eventually we will need uh, these troops on the mainland as well. Uh, do we have an extra navy? No, oh yes we do. But it'll only be there next turn. It's okay. It's okay. We can live with next turn. Next turn is sufficient. Can't. You do understand that with this rash action you are acting contrary to your own best interests. Whether they understand it or not is moot though. Ah, okay, we are to get to know the remnants of Angmar. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I'm just going to take a little bit of your cash. We've got a lovely, lovely book I want to sell you with all sorts of maps. It's going to be great. It's good to see we could reach an agreement. Isn't it just? Again. Thank you, Ingmar. Yes. Tomorrow's Strange man. Planned out. Stopping here. That just added essentially another 2,000 to our budget. And, um, you know, money well earned, I say. <laughs> um, let's get some sea trade in from Etheland. It seems like a pretty good thing to do. Maybe a Stuart Hall would also be nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Hmm. Bemelir. You have ships. They can be retrained, and so they shall be. Great joy be upon us all for that. Shall we have some um, militia, some guardsmen? Let's get some guardsmen. Bum, 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 bum. And Harad is pivoting to go with Mjolland. An interesting choice given that it's a settlement that we have an easier time defending. And it has a militia garrison. But Han has not. So, thank you for helping me, I suppose. Gobel. Mirlond will thank your efforts. I mean, look at how much more defensible this side of the world is. <laughs> so much defensibility. We need some uh, good roads in Umbar too, eventually. Maybe a warehouse would also be good. A market could be nice. Ooh, a market could be very nice. That's a very nice bonus for a market. I am happy to see that. And uh, yeah, yeah, the warehouse also does its share. Okay, good, good. Those two buildings shall be queued up. Um, your will, my lord. By your command, orders. My lord, as you wish, we'll make camp here. Orders. Yes, my lord. As you wish. We'll Tethoros. Um, shall we have a barrister here? 
That could be really nice, couldn't it? Yeah. Would be nice for the bastard there. Order. I will not waste words on your will, my lord. Ready your weapons. Your will, my lord. I will not waste words on you. Orders. Captain of Gondor. You guys can go down there. You can meet Dwellin. And Tia Thride can send troops your way. What troops shall we send your way? Well, let's have a look at what Edge can do. Not too much. Uldur can reach Tia Thride as well. So we need to be uh, wary of that. That is definitely worth worrying about. Because there's a lot of troops there. And we all know what happens when Kand gets a lot of troops. We're going to send these three extra units. I think, you know, Imrahil has a decent army now. With all this. You can go to Ammonithel and just take it. In the Ultra Assault. It's going to be fine. And how the Noor? Uh, yeah, we can't really... It's dicey to try and... To try and send spies in there, even a good one. Of so we're just gonna go ram down the gate. Do we have enough to take these guys? I think we do. I think we do have a decent amount of troops for taking those guys on. Let's see if there is anything coming. Oh, there is something coming. Okay. Interesting. And of course, these guys might try to make their way back. Uh, okay, it's all it's all in play. It's all in play. Curse these guys and their security stats. <laughs> okay. Um. So is Gobel Mirland ready for battle against this? Yeah, it's absolutely ready for battle, and they can't even get there. They or can they? They, they can just walk past that fort? Okay. Okay, fair enough. That's a little disappointing, but... No matter, no matter. Yes, my lord. What do you say? Do you want to see ceasefire? No, you do not. Fair enough. Okay, next turn then. Oh dear, Tyr Ethraid comes under attack, and so does the fort. Which is actually pretty nice because we can now inflict disproportionate casualties upon them, given that we have only, like, a smidgen of defense in there. This is where we stand. The enemy come with rams, and they come with warriors. And they're going to try their best. They're going to try their best to be a right pain in the neck. That's what's going to happen. Um, yeah. Most of this army is cavalry, so I think I'm going to keep my forces on the walls for the most part. Just to neuter their advantage. So, as much as bloody possible. And these guys, yeah, you're just going to stand there and activate the towers for now. That's fine. That's all I need you to do. Can you throw some javelins, please, my man? Can you? Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I mean, well, very nice for the ones that managed to actually do it. Most of you didn't, you lazy bastards. But what can you do? 5% of them are already dead. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Our enemy's ladders have reached. The enemy are battering down the gates. Okay. Um, two schools of thought. Either you say, I really believe in the melee prowess of these guys over these guys, and I'm going to keep them right here so they can just welcome them. Hmm, what do they have? Five armor, three defense skill, and we have seven melee attacks. So actually... I'm going to see what happens. 
It might just work. So, yeah. Ha ha! Um. Oh, there's a step tribesman over there. Ah, okay, yeah, the nomad fighters are winning there. The enemy's ram is through our gates. They're coming in a little bit too quick. For our sweet, sweet marines all have been in to do much about it. Run this way. And uh, throw your things. No! Don't let them get you! Um. Well, well, so far, 35% of the enemy army gone. That's pretty nice. These towers are great. They're great at what they do. These are on the mercenaries. Mm, why should we put them? Mm, actually, we should put them up here. You guys have run out of arrows. Okay. And the mariners can shoot the nomad warriors. Very good. Very good shooting there. I'm happy to see it. Oh no, the enemy didn't expect this tactic and so they've completely stalled. Well, okay. Half the enemy force I'm going to pause the recording and pour myself some tea and we'll see what happens. Something happens! The nomads are moving! But the mariners are shooting. And now the nomads are moving. All the way out again. Does that uh, spur anything? Well, the Baroon Raiders are continuing to face plant into a wall. And... The Step Archers... Are doing nothing at all. So... I'm gonna pause the recording. No, 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 no. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. What are they doing? They're shaking up their formation, that's for sure. They have stopped face planting the wall, which is progress. You gotta hand it to them. Um, apparently they'll. They should. They should probably be taking every single victory that they can get at this point. What happens if we send this lad down to the ground level? Will the cavalry realize that they have something to attack? No, it would seem that they don't. Maybe we need to move closer. My goodness, these towers, they shoot so many arrows. It's amazing. Oh, 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 oh. here comes a nomad axeman. They'll be shot to death by towers, though. Okay, let's just run this guy back. Run, my fellow, run, 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 run. This is not where you want to be. <laughs> oh, they're going for the mariners, eh? Going for the mariners. And they changed their mind. No, 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 no. The other guy's easier to take. We can take him. We don't need to take all those. We can take him. And lose a couple of men in the process. Oh, <laughs> now they're confused and all their waffling, their whittling and waddling, their twiddling and twaddling and twaddling is not doing them any favours. Our foe has lost control of the fort. Gosh, it's such a waste of human life, isn't it? Crucifixion? Yes. Good. Out of the door. Line on the left. One cross each. Come on. 
Oh, they're shooting things. They're trying to shoot us. They're actively making progress in the... Let's pray it remains as such. To... I mean... To quote Blackadder, I haven't seen a war this... <laughs> I haven't seen a war fought this badly since Olaf the Viking ordered 50,000 battle helmets for his warriors with the horns on the inside. Yeah, I understand why you're laughing, good sir. Oh, now the step archers have come on to the scene. They have stepped up their game, as it were. They've realized that the only way to win this is to actually go inside the settlement that they're trying to conquer. This is really, really revolutionary tactics for an AI that seems content to actually just be shot to death on most days. Oh, and here come the Baroon Raiders. And we charge him and oh, we lost our dear Harondo mercenary. Apparently they can't hit us very well. Corsair archers, what do you say? Shall we make a run for it? Yeah. There's one Baroon Raider left and we're going to charge him. The enemy have the walls. Defense or Aha! Come on! Yeah! Good banner carrier. You did it. Oh, and then there's the general. You know what? We should face him in combat. Mariners. You you gotta earn your stripes today. Come on. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Well done, sirs. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. You know, I thought that we would settle for giving them a Pyrrhic victory with this, but the fact that we actually won. <laughs> the, the, these forts are so overpowered. <laughs> ah, hello, dear friends. You try to attract me from across the river. Okay, you do have a fair few troops with you there. I have to concede that fact. Hmm. Maybe we should just pull back and go for reinforcements. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We must yield. Or wait for the captain to attack us on his own. Okay. Well, he may have too much cavalry for us to handle, but there's only one way to find out. Now, the plan here today is that we need to force the engagement with these people as cost-effectively as humanly possible. How do we do this? Well, we're going to try to catch that missile cavalry off guard with our general one by one and try to murder them with our infantry before they deposit all their arrows into said infantry. Because if they manage to do that, we're just not having a good fight. <laughs> and we can use our light cavalry to run down some of their nomads. Did you hear that, guys? I want you to run down those nomads. And maybe those step tribesmen as well. Just to take the javelins out of the game. Our Ambrothian guardsmen have decent defense against their... Mounted archer onslaught. So, we'll have to see if uh, they can soak up enough damage for it to be worthwhile. 
Oh, good charge on the tribesmen there, fellas. Gondor Cavalry Militia, you got overwhelmed over there. I'm sorry. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, let's see. What's the situation? Okay, Nomad Horsemen charging in. Could be worse. Could be worse. Um, these Marauders and Nomad Horsemen will need to be dealt with. Marines, this is where you come in. You have a five shield, five armor. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trust you against those marauders. You hurl your javelins at uh, whatever troops you can find. Squires, get back. Cavalry militia, get back. And the Nomad Horsemen will need to play dirty now if they are to succeed against our infantry. Assisted by the Royals One Guard when they charge properly, that is. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can catch these guys fighting. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. Here. Okay. Could be better. Ooh, nice. Nice. Good one, dear Marine. Um... What do we have here? Gondor Cavalry Militia. Okay, good. And you are going for it in melee. Good. And you are going for it in melee, but you need some assistance. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But we also need to send our folks that way. I'm hoping that we can even out the score against the Marauders eventually. And that we can start routing some of these bastards. Yeah, the Marauders are wavering. Oh, ah, a counter charge there. What do you say? It's good that we're bringing all of our forces into melee against them because that should, all other things being equal, um, wear away at the enemy as well as us. Nah, Marauders fleeing, good. Time to overwhelm the horsemen! Okay. Oh, Marauder's coming in! Counter charge, please! Decent, decent, decent. You'll lose troops, but not enough for it to really hurt. Um, good. Marines there, winning. Alright, alright, wow. We are nowhere home safe, but. We might just scrape it out of here alive. Right, Histian? Right. Yes, yes, I thought so. You're doing a good job, though. You're doing a very good job. And here, Militia, doing good. And the Squires are coming in, and the Axemen don't like it. They do a waver. They break. They flee. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, we're certainly making good progress. We're certainly making good progress, but we'll need to make far more of it. So, Guardsmen. Yeah, you need to follow into the Marauders over there. And these guys are running away. Good. Oh, Marauders coming in. We need to see if we can charge them down. Good job on the Warriors over there. Good job. Okay, how are we doing here? Cavalry Militia, you need to get out of that melee. Yes, you've run down most of those warriors. Good. Okay. Go on the Militia, continue into the tribesmen. How are we doing against the Marauders over here? We might need to help them. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, Baroon Raiders coming in for the charge there. I need to counter that. It's that archer cavalry that's causing me constipation at the moment. Constipation or consternation? There's pencil in both there. Oh, the raiders are just going hog wild on the Amorothian guardsmen, but fortunately they're decent at resisting them, so 
Um, gonna be hopeful. I'm gonna be hopeful. All right. Now, oh, step tries me running away. Good, good. You know what? First, run into those raiders, and then we can charge into the warriors and hopefully break them. Good. Charge into those. And how are you doing here? It's John, you grand fella. You are doing so well. You're doing so well. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep pushing. You can do it. Yeah? Oh, yes, the warriors. The warriors, they never knew what hit them. Good. Infantry. Charge into those raiders right now. You need to go for the tribesmen. And Istion, you have taken out so many cavalrymen today. And it's good that he's helped them up because this meant that they couldn't reinforce their infantry in the ways that they should have. Ha! Look at that! It's time to press the attack. Very good. This is a clear victory. Whew. I would have thought a victory like this would be heroic, but um maybe Dolamroth's stats are just too high. Anyhow, a glorious day. There you go, Kand. We certainly have destroyed them, and Ammonithos should be taken. Well, funny you should say that, good sir, because that's uh, sort of my plan. Ready your Slay them. Yeah, there you go. Fire as on goes. They are gone from these lands. Ammonithos, I was. Um, what should we have here? <laughs> Considering everything I'm seeing, I'm going to go for governor's quarters. Let's see how they react to that little bit. Um, yuck, yuck. You know what, I want to stay outside of the range of that Haradrim army. I'm just going to ghost them in so far as possible. We're going to retrain some troops in Terthoros. We'll need some troops before we take on uh, the Nur. They reinforced that a bit more promptly than I expected. Ah, oh, Dolamroth is back. Back in the game. Making us another couple of grand every turn. <laughs> Which is good. That's so good. Um, more pikes. More of everything. But we have the Black Veil Archers coming in for a training, so we'll want those. And Nimble of Mariners and the How nice! I will have you all. Um, what should we have here? Ooh, Mason Skill Task. Actually, I want that. I want that right now. So, yeah, that's going to be good. Could we let these guys wait? Yeah, we could actually, without losing any recruitment momentum, if you will. Um, what else can we do? We can build a blacksmith in Dol Amroth. I mean, goodness gracious, why don't we have that already? <laughs> anyway, um, Tia Ithraid, you are building... Maybe we should just hold off on that one. Khaldun, you're building... Terathoros. You can be building... Soon. Ready your weapons. But for now, I just want you to grow. Actually, yeah. Uh, got a ways to go. Got a ways to go. Uh, it's John. You know what? Why don't you go in there and just boost the gr boost the growth rate for a bit? Oh, another percent. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And uh, these lovely fellas, maybe they can. Oh, that's the question. Should they go to Tier Ithraid? What are we up against? These guys, and those guys, and potentially these guys. Hmm. What do we have? We have two units of pikes. Well, two and a half. One and a half. 
Uh, units of pikes, we have two units of guardsmen, and we have decent infantry. Yeah. I'm gonna say we can hold them. Yeah. It's looking okay. Looking okay. It might be a little tight for a defense. But I think we can hold them. So, Marblu, get yourselves to that fort, please. <laughs> and we can move all these fellows, lovely, lovely lads as they are, toward Hardanur. They will not overwhelm us again, he says. Hoping for the best. Um, let's also see what's going on over here. Let's see what's out there. To quote Pat, uh, Captain Picard. Oh, it's apparently just a big old expanse of nothing. Hmm. Yeah. That governor's quarters is going to be so good for Gerber Mielon. So we will have it. We'll have it. Yes, Bedagond, gossipy man of my dreams. I shall continue tomorrow. Yes, continue toward the snow orcs. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Um. Candor stagnating. And Harad might be growing. Okay. But surely they won't do that forever. Ardenaim. No, that is, that is the true stagnation. But they have been growing their military power a little bit, so you know, you know, it's, it's, it's too late, well uh, too early to count them out. I say, too early to count them out at all. Ships ready. Uh, Mariners, so Mariners of the fleet. now, by Meldir can bring all of his forces together. Combining forces. Yes, combining naval forces. Go and uh, control those docks, would you? We can send uh, these fellas to Dol Amroth, actually. Get your navy up to speed. Should we build something else here? Prince of Stables would be pretty nice. Can we afford it, though? Yes, we can, if we retrain the Haven Guard later. Yeah, let's get to the Princess Stables. That was be a the Seaward Lancers are a game-changing unit for the for this faction, so we're gonna go with it. And let's have a look at everything that's coming at us. So, Eju has Baron Raiders, Baron Raiders. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that makes it pretty manageable. You know, it would be a bit different if you had like uh, three units of Harondon mercenaries or something crazy like that, but. Um, no, 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 it isn't so. And because of that, we're in the game. You know what, we can bring these Ambrosian um, pikemen along for the ride. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have these. Yeah, all of that put together. It's going to be a nice time. Oh, if these guys come into Tirthalos first, and we'll see what happens after that. A pretty uneventful end turn, actually, except for the Wood Elves. <laughs> yeah, the, that was an event for them. And, okay, Horse Breeders Guild. And then I thought, yes, please. I love Horse Breeders Guilds, actually. And um, Rune. A port to blockade. Oh, hello, Khaldun. Hmm, yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, we can do that. We can do that. Um... Can we reach it right away? No, we'll take a turn. So, let's uh, start out by blockading that port, and we'll get to the other one. We'll get to it. We'll get there when we get there. Huh. Oh, 
ho, 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 old dude is uh, not feeling so secure about his chances, apparently. And Edju is feeling so good about Uldur's chances that he is pursuing Maineon instead. Harad, feeling unsure about their chances, are just leaving! <laughs> Driven from this peninsula by Imrahil himself. Okay, good. Um, shall we have some pikemen in the uh, meal on? Does feel like a good move. It does feel like a good move. But we can wait a bit. We can wait. We can wait a turn. See what happens. For now, you guys go to Teosaurus. And Istion takes his beautiful bastards and makes his way toward Adenur. I mean, have you ever seen a more beautiful army? Well, of course you have, but it doesn't feel like it, does it? Right? Yeah. In this very moment, it feels like nothing as beautiful has ever walked the earth. Yeah. Oh, let's get a port in Baratan. That's going to be pretty damn decent. Um, because we'll also get the Haven Guard here, and that is lovely. These guys can go into a fort. Um, actually, we can send more troops into a fort as well. These pikemen. That's a good candidate. Umbar. Ooh, Nimbrodel Marinus. Yes, give them to me. Give it to me. I want them. I want them all. We still have some corruption to deal with in Umbar. It's okay though. It's okay. How about him? Ardomir. What can you give me? Ooh, Princess Stables. And the mining network. Which shall we get first? Princess Stables. What's a silly question? <laughs> um, and those roads will also be really good. And when we have those roads, a way station. That seems to be a good order for building things. We should also get a library at some point. Now, question time. Shall Ibrahil stay in Ammonithil forever? Answer time. Bollocks, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He needs to move on. The question is how quickly and to where. We should we, we should be able to take Estella. Hmm. Especially if we ooh, what if we bring in a couple of troops from here in Gobelmeerland? Yeah, that would be nice. And these guys can go with them as well. We send the Haven Garden to go with me along. We can retrain them when the time comes. And yeah, because the port is coming online, or the ship ride is coming online next turn, and that means then we will be able to retrain the Haven Guard. We can keep them free up, keeping the fort until then. But still, good stuff. Um, Anything we can do to castles here, around here. We can do sheep farming after the militia garrison. That will definitely do good things. we we'll build a ship right. Stuff that makes the settlement grow. Protect the blood of Numenor. Oh yes, we shall protect the blood of Numenor. <laughs> send number of mariners to Metras. Right? No yeah, that's a good place. They should be retrainable from there. And speaking of mariners, we have more of them coming every day. 
2 plus 3 equal 5 free upkeep units in Dol Amroth. Beautiful. And retrain those. And train those. And then Adonel can probably leave Dol Amroth behind the next turn. So, given that, we should probably get more Black Reveal Archers. Good. Excellent. Mistvan comes under attack, my friends. And you know what that means. Borlad will be carried out in a stretcher. And Holdor will not be carried out at all. He will be buried. Shall we? Break their will. This is our positioning, my friends. And what positioning it is. They will approach with their rams and they will absolutely get to ram down our gate. There is nothing stopping them from doing that. But we will stop them from getting any further. They will first run into the Umbrothian Guardsmen and then the pikemen will make sure that they the get poked consistently. And under consistent poking they will also be kept from uh, pulling out Blast to the, the left in the settlement by the Umbrothian Guardsmen who will keep them in shackled in place. Um, and while they are hammered by the Gondor Militia and the Haven Guard. And of course, Mistvan's own seaward spearmen. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. And now the pikemen start moving in. Yeah, you can just... You can just see them trying to wiggle their way through this one. This one, get in there. Make sure those axemen don't do too much damage to our precious pike line. Ah, and here come the Amrothian Guardsmen, ready to give that cavalry some of their own unit mashing medicine. <laughs> And then just defend your position where you are. We've got them exactly where we want them. Oh, there goes the general. <laughs> well, it'll be a swift goodbye from here on out. Their plan has failed. We have contained them, and now we are pushing them back. Look at them wither. But still they try to fight back. They try, they try, and they try. But they cannot try hard enough. Okay, Pikes, get back here. Oh, hello there, even guard. Yeah, you can do some serious damage to any unit on the field here, so uh, I would not. I would not consider it cowardice for anyone to be running away from you guys. Um, come on in, come on in. Yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Come on. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue oh. and run them down. Out they go. Out the window. <laughs> Only half our force remains. Only they will be the fine. Force remains. Our men have slain the enemy. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Wonderful. And Mistvan didn't even lift a finger. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as I'm the day of Pikeman. glorious victory. Oh dear, even the Haven Guard couldn't live up to that. They pay their ransom and life goes on. Your orders, as you wish. Ah, hello. Variax, what are you doing here, you s s 
slimy sausages. Without question, stopping here. Huh. Well, regardless of what they're doing there, we now got sea wood lances. What are you gonna do about that, you buggers? Um. Ooh, Haven Guard coming in here. Yes, we will retrain everything. Boom, ba bum 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 And the Ambrosian Pikemen are coming too. Good! Um... Yeah, and uh, you're, you're both building those things that we want you to build after that. Uh, we should also get a leather worker in. Good, good, good progress all around. Hello, Yahya. Are you gonna go for taking the cake at Gobermirland? Now that Melamin has outrun you. Hello, Elias. Hmm. Elias, you know that's a, that's a name you will see in, uh, in in Denmark quite often, actually. There's, this weekend I've actually been recording with uh, uh, a new band that I'm pretty excited about, uh, doing sort of uh, pop rock with 80s inspired uh, sound palettes and stuff like that. It's, it's quite fun. It's quite fun. Uh, Danish language, um, popular music. It's fun to play. A uh, lot of energy, a lot of good riffs, and a bass player. And he's called uh, Ilias, actually. Nice lad, nice lad. What is the priority of tier 3? You know, I'm going to say it continues to be population growth. So that's what we're gonna build for. We'll see what we build after the communal farming. Maybe we can get another uh, farm upgrade. How the Noah sends out its troops, and they shall be slayed. And another. Yes, assail the enemies of Gondor. What shall we do with these guys? Let's um, put something in a fort. We could put... Well, since we can't really retrain these pikemen yet, we could just put them in there. Um, hmm. Could we retrain Haven Guard anytime soon? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. Dol Amroth. A lovely place where anything can happen. Including going to a fort. And the next turn they can be shipped out to war. Along with trips from Methras, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's shaping up to be a decent plan. Good, good, good. And a dead end. Let's get those mariners in. And after the Royal Hall here, maybe the guard barracks is actually a good idea. But I do want that market. For the income. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Your will, my lord. Arthian? I think you should go and have a look at what's ahead of us. My lord. Ammonithal now has 32% Dunedain culture, and. Uh, or maybe how Thor should. Yeah. That'd be alright. Then he can improve his chops a bit. See what's going on near Nastala. 
a lot of cheaper troops, but also some trollmen at this point. Okay, okay, okay. So they are upgrading their capabilities somewhat. Protect the blood of Numenor. One more turn. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's train some pikemen and get one wish. more turn. So Kand struck back, struck hard with a full stack of spammable trash. And the full stack is a bit more than Istion's army weapon. could feasibly take on. So I ordered a retreat and I shall proclaim no shame in having done so. <sighs> we can regroup. And we can find fresh forces. There will be much honor in defeating you. So, Alanel, you will board your vessel. We'll get some fresh troops and thrust as well. Oh. Never mind, we don't need to train them. We can retrain these mariners when time comes for that sort of thing. Right, so Alanel, your plan is to go and strike at Hadenur. Istion, you'll head for Imladgarden, and we will send Imrahil toward Istara, crushing all resistance on the way, like Ilias. It's sort of going to be an attack on all fronts at once. Hopefully denying them the ability to effectively counter us at, uh, at least two out of three places, one should hope. And I'm thinking that these three units should go with Alanel. Seems like a good idea. Actually, let's make it four. Gerber Mirland. Put troops into forts. Save some cash. Kildun. Hmm. Similar stuff, really. At the end of the day, Thelen gets a warehouse, and oh, what lovely news. Umbar's Royal Hall call, gives call for celebration, and Linear's Roads, mmm, trade potential, trade potential. And the militia garrison, oh, well worth it when the time comes. That is not now, though. We'll start with a large town upgrade. But we could send some troops from here into a fort. And so we will. Some money spent, some money saved. I guess these troops should go with uh, Aranel toward Haldanur. And yeah. So Tier Ithraid's forces can go toward Imlad Karnan. And the good thing is that once we do that, then there's only Edju left in our lands, and he will probably get new priorities reasonably quickly <laughs> okay hmm. governor's quarters coming in very good very good uh, yeah we'll send those trips in there for now and we'll see what we can retrain next turn but a lot of these forces should probably move out Ooh, somebody's moving on Khaldun. You'll need quite a lot of troops to do that, my friend. Do you have a lot of troops to do that? Mm, it would appear not. 
But I'm going to welcome you for trying, of course. More pikemen in Ardmir? Or should we wait for the prince's stables and train them? Oh, wow, we do want some pikemen too. We do want them. We do want them. They are good. They are lovely. Valued members of the neighborhood. Bergon. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, yeah, you can make a s single payment to me for knowing where I live. I thought not. So, good. Um, then we move toward the Vale. Having siphoned off money from the forces of darkness. I shall continue tomorrow. Stopping we shall here. proudly continue. Mm -hmm. And the Ardenaim are basically just forming a shield wall around their settlement. And the Stala is training more troops than they can actually contain within the city. Mm. And Tamruban is apparently really easy to spy on. Who would have thought? Of Ready your Can you make a difference in Tirith Raid? No. <laughs> so just continue as you do, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's possible that you will merge with Elias. I, I suppose. Will not waste words on you. That's fine. I'm absolutely cool with that. Goodness, we have a lot of pikemen here. <laughs> Ships ready. You know, we could take these the troops out. Get some cavalry. Put the cavalry into a fort. Continue from there when the time is right. Yeah. Seems good to me. Then you can go back. And then you can pick them up next turn. That's good. Oh, what do we have? Well, Tirithar is under threat. Which is a state of affairs we cannot condone. So, let's move in. We might actually be able to thrust at them with that lowly force. Ooh, and some cavalry here. Mm. Yes, yes, good idea. And some cavalry here. Yes, very good idea. And then here. We just pick up the forces and move on. And then from here, we'll trek through the wilderness to get to Hadanur. And Alanel is going to have a pretty decent army. Two units of Haven Guard, that alone punches pretty hard. But we will have to punch pretty hard. Oh. We have two full stacks of spammy units coming our way. So, hmm. Maybe we should actually just pull Ischion into tier 3. What's going on here? Yeah, yes, sits where he has always done. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We can leave behind the Coastal Wardens for training. We can leave behind some Umbrothian Guardsmen. And one unit of pikes. Although, actually. We should probably merge these guys a little bit. Yeah, there we are. There we are. If those can still be retrained, that's amazing. 
So, your your will, my lord. these guys move. And then we have the 166. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. We'll leave these guys behind. They might come under attack, though. So we might want to uh, keep on the Amphilus Pikemen. We can purchase some Corsairs, put them in there. Hmm, okay. Dol you get Seaward Lancers. And the Seaward Lancers are beautiful. Beautiful and dutiful. The Royal Hall will also augment our capability of training wonderful troops. So keep at it, Umbrothians. Keep at it. Then let's get some mines. Or a dockyard. Ooh, dockyard might be good. Yeah, yeah, it might be good. Yeah. Yeah, it'll pay itself off reasonably quickly. Amon Aethel. You need land clearances. Kaldun, you get sheep farming. I will not waste words on you. You don't need to. Just attack me and get it over with, you pillock. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Lord Imrahil. To finish off the episode, we're going to take on these trollmen. And their southern friends. They have no real bowmen, so... Let's see what tactics we can employ. It looks like we might get a hill. That would be nice. As the sun rises on another day, we must sadly say that uh, in order to get the hill, we need to go over here. But maybe that's okay. Let's start the battle and see what the enemy does. Oh, they do the same thing that we do. Take a high ground. Right. Well, seems then only reasonable that Imrahil should go out and just poke the enemy until they go along with our plan. That's a curious position they've taken up. We can run for a little bit. There we walk for a little bit. Okay. They reform their lines. First off, I think I'm going to try and charge into... Trollman warriors? Hmm. I'd prefer to do that when they're already in combat. No, I'm going to go for the general's bodyguard over here because it's further away from the spear throwers and that means we can minimize our casualties with a little bit of luck. Oh, they seem to move ahead. Okay, fair enough. If those southern lancers want to fight, I will fight them. Gladly. Ah, here come the hunters. So far no losses. Let's keep it that way. Or 
Alright, so they're going to be stubborn about it. And then you go, and hopefully we avoid the worst of the volleys. Oh, we do, and we took out a lot of trollmen. That's pretty good. And here they come. Good. Imrakil, you've done it again. <laughs> Secured our momentous tactical advantage. <laughs> Our men have slain the enemy general. <gasps> ah, wonderful, beautiful. I couldn't have planned it better. <laughs> ah. If we continue like this, we will smash Okay, what do we have here? Trollman hunters. Hmm. Ripe for the picking. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um, Imrakil, are you ready to do some killing? The numerically superior cavalry has been thwarted. The battle is very much in our favor. Oh, there we go. And thwarted again. <laughs> Very nice. Warriors, warriors, pikes, pikes. Trolls running away. Oh dear. Well, troll men running away. Uh, okay, more hunters. Pikes, you know what to do. We're gonna put those hunters in the grave. Um, right. Okay. Archers, I think you can sort of. S no, keep shooting those guys. And kaboom! We've collapsed their melee prowess now. There's nothing left of their army essentially, so let's just get Imrakil to uh, relax a bit. Oh, and then they run away. Good! Good, good, good. Minimal casualties. And we can get some experience for our squires. Good, and what's up here? Not sure we can make it to those guys though. No, we can't. So, go for the pikes. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Wonderful! Squires gaining experience, guardsmen gaining experience, even the ones who did bugger all. <laughs> and then, um, pikemen gaining experience, very good. And a number of mariners taking care of a fair few troops, hmm, very, very good, all round. No complaints. Alright then, we sack their camp, and Imrakil moves on to targets new. Let's see if uh, Estella has more to chew on, so to speak. We can send the Haven Guard somewhere, can't we? We can send them to Teotholos. And we should also do something about these buggers. Yeah. So. Actually, ooh, if we lash out or <laughs> move out from... The settlement itself, I think we will have the best chance of beating them, so we will do exactly that. Give them no quarter this day, men. And here we are, we have pikes, we have everything we need. 
Most of it is just coming in from outside. <laughs> but that's okay. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. We're going to put everything up in a lovely line. And then we're just going to walk our way over there. It'll just take a minute while our folks get into position. Regard the splendor of our armed forces as they move into position. <sighs> they are warmed up and ready. And we can outrange most of what the enemy has, simply by using our ballista. Look at their lovely colours. Mm. Yes, it's very good. very good. We can use it to snipe the general's unit. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we can use our cavalry to keep the ballista crew safe. And then we can just use our infantry to uh, act as a lovely little counterweight in the landscape, if you will. Probably need to march them over here. Run, my friends. Run, run, run. How far is your range? Hmm, okay. It's not that far. Ah, okay. We've stirred the beast. Ow. <laughs> Fascinating. We're shooting at them even though they are not visible. But we've taken out quite a few of them. Well done, friends. Well done. I mean, I can't deny that those are indeed laudable results. What a nice little hit that was. Pikes. Let's press them into a corner. The battle is very much our foolish general has thrown his life away. And perhaps our chances of victory with it. Uh, we should be able to handle that. All right, cavalry. Half the enemy force remains. Yeah, keep shooting the raiders. Very good. Okay. Um, more scenarios running away. Okay. Time to do something about that general's unit. Hey, hey. Okay. Mariners. How are you doing against the raiders? Doing okay. 
Our men have captured the enemy general. And there goes the general. Okay, good. So he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Then. Behold, and there they go. Foe runs. It's time to press ha 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 ha. Okay, we lost a few units. This is a clear victory. But we've consolidated our forces in the area and prepared for adventures new. And there he goes. We're not letting Ek Ju get back on his feet. We wouldn't want such a thing. I don't know who would want such a thing. Mariners of the fleet. And Pelendur, actually, you can go into Tethoros. And you can manage it pretty well, apparently. These fellows are not being retrained. So into a fort they can go. There's no reason not to. Teathraid is ready for the worst. And if they mean to just break upon Tirthraid like water on rock, then we shall be ready for them. But this is where the episode ends. We've had two nice little battles solidifying our hold over the area. And now, nothing remains for me to do except to wish that you may be kind to yourself, be good to others, that you may indeed express yourself below with pressing buttons and typing keys and all these things that you can do to engage with this little content machine we've got going. And if you do all that, and maybe even subscribe, then I will see you soon. Oh, tea is lovely this time of day.